Hi, I'm going to quickly show you how to input a drainage run and export it to micro drainage. So the first thing we'll do is we'll add a new run. So click that button and left click where you want the manholes to go. There we go, you snap onto um, other manholes if you need to join up runs. Next thing I'll do is I will set the uh, long section. So uh, to do that one, go into the long section of this road and the drainage is automatically projected onto it. And what we can do now is we can move vertically our manholes either using the mouse or we can set the gradients or we can right click and enter levels if we want to. Once we've done that, then um, next thing to do would be to set in your um, contributing areas. So in this case, I'm going to set this to something like 0 0.2. There we go. OK. And once we've done that one, I will um, indicate which uh, manhole is my outfall so I'm gonna say it's this one out here I'm gonna say it's my outfall okay so once you've got all that kind of specified and set up the next thing to do is save it out to a uh, micro drainage project so uh, file save as micro drainage project I'm gonna say my surface network export I'll call this one uh, dash one so once you've done that one Load up micro drainage, open up your project, fill out your standard drain, uh, design criteria, so pick where your site is and fill out the rest of the information. OK. And there we go, we have our manhole and uh, pipe network inserted. So the first thing I'll do now is um, resize all the pipes using the auto design feature. So in here, by default, they come in as locked from Site 3D so that they don't change as you're importing them. But um, if I unlock these, it'll auto design for me. And there you go, you can see all the pipe diameters have changed. So that's it. So save your project, close it and come in and uh, re-import it into Site 3D. So file, import, drainage, micro drainage MDX. And I'll pick my modified project, hit open, and there you go. You can see our pipes have resized. And now also you can see that it's also now indicating because our pipe diameters have changed, we now have a, um, an amber alert for a collision because it's near, but it's not a physical collision. So that's an engineering decision to look into, but we can tweak all that one. Okay, thank you.